Hi friends, the Bardia University of Tamil Nadu has invited its application for the PG courses. This video is providing you the information about the admission procedures and the details of the university. Bardia University was established in the year of 1982 by inheriting the name of Subramanya Bharati who was a renowned poet and nationalist. This state university is situated in the Coimbatore district of Tamil Nadu, prospered in a serene atmosphere, enriched with over 778 acres of landscape in the foothills of Marudamale mountains. Functioning by the motto of Educate to Elevate, this university has so far made some remarkable achievements in the field of education and academics. By bragging 13th rank in the NIRF of 2020, securing 12th rank among India's general government institutions conducted by India Today, 17th rank among multidisciplinary universities in India by the week, achieving 2nd rank for the best arts and science university in India by the Times of India survey, 538th rank among world's most sustainable university and also 18th rank in the national level at 2019. This university has 3 undergraduate and 58 postgraduate and PG diploma courses in total along with the MPhil and PhD courses. There are 37 departments under 13 schools and around 2800 PG students and 1067 research scholars are enrolled in this university. Let's check out the admission procedures for the PG courses. The admission to 37 courses are on the basis of direct admission mode which is based on your UG marks and the remaining 17 courses come through the entrance mode. Please note that the MSc Medical Biotechnology admission will be through GATB entrance exam and the MBA admissions are inviting through TANSET and centralized counseling. For the entrance based admissions, there shall be two forms of marking criteria. The total marks will be on 100 and among this 60 marks shall be on the basis of the entrance exam and the remaining 40 marks is on the basis of the average marks that you have secured either up to the fifth semester or second year of the degree program. Now let's move on to the payment methods. You have to pay the registration fee of 400 rupees for each program through net banking, debit card, credit card, DD or NEFT methods. If you are a CST candidate, you have to pay only 200 rupees and also needed to produce a photocopy of the community certificate. You can fill the application form in the following website admissions.b-u.ac.in and you can check the guidelines for filling the application in www.b-u.ac.in. Now let's check out the university facilities in a nutshell. There are 5 men's hostel, 5 girls hostel and 1 international students hostel and you have to pay 8500 rupees for hostel deposit and 210 rupees as room rent and another 210 rupees for application fee. Also must be noted that other charges like electricity, water etc have to be paid separately and the mess facilities are also applicable on divided basis. There contains 1 GB per second broadband connectivity in the campus. Another remarkable feature is a huge collection of 1,90,000 books in the campus library covering all disciplines with the university departments. Digital open access system is also helpful for using the IGNU in Flipnet facilities. My dear friends, do prepare well for the university and entrance exams in this COVID days and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and also keep following our channel for getting more updates regarding the university entrance exams.